Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at iPad OS 16 on the iPad mini, fifth generation now. The fifth generation is the oldest model on the mini lineup that will be supporting this new update that Apple just recently released for the iPad. Similarly to iOS 16 for iPhones, iPad OS 16 is now available. Now, if you want to download it, you can go ahead and download it. So in this video, we're going to talk about our download experience, some of the top features of iPad OS 16, the performance, the battery life, general issues and bugs, and finally give you guys our input whether you should or shouldn't upgrade to iOS 16. So let's dive right into it. So first thing first, as I mentioned, if you wanted to download iOS or iPad OS 16, you can simply go into settings and then general and then software update. You'll see that 16.1 is out. If you recall, 16.0 was released for iPhones and 16.1 is the latest version which addresses some of the issues we've seen earlier on some iPhone. So you can go ahead and download it. The download experience about uh, it takes about half an hour to 45 uh, minutes. So you're going to get uh, something like that. Now, all depends on how good of a connection you have as well. So once you download it, you can start taking advantage of some of the features of iOS 16, which if you take a look at it, things like around shared photo library, there's some updates around there, around text as well, which we'll show around replying later, things like being able to edit text messages and unsend text messages as well. You're able to take pictures and simply press and hold and it automatically removes the background as well. You have things like unsending an email as well and things around the weather app as well. So those are some of the top updates that Apple shows. There's minor security updates as well and privacy updates that you'll probably notice as well. So let's take a look at one of the first ones which is around messages. So if you send a message and you go ahead and send something, let's go ahead and send We'll notice here after you send something, you have the option to edit now. So you can edit this message and hit OK, and it will edit that message and send them that message. Along with that ability, let's say we want to say more stuff to make it cool. Uh, let's go ahead and see another ability to undo send. So you can pretty much click on that, and voila, it just vanishes. Other thing you can do is swipe right here where if you swipe right here, you have this blue icon, which is essentially reply later. So if you go back, as you can see, the notification stays, so we can go ahead and reply to the text later. So that's a cool feature I believe you'll like. You'll also notice updates around the focus mode as well. So if you don't know what focus mode is, focus mode is a feature that was introduced in earlier models of uh, the iPhone pad itself on iOS 16. So if you go into settings, you'll notice here there's focus mode. Now there's been more customization to add your own custom focus and other ones as well, which you can take advantage of if you like. Other things you'll probably notice is update around the multitask feature and ability to do much more around privacy and then notification itself. So if you're looking to see updated version of notification, you'll see that as well. So now let's talk about the performance of iPad OS 16. So far, the performance has been fine. We did notice some bit of lag and that's probably because this is the older generation of the mini that you can actually upgrade to the 16 version we started to test out some of the apps as you can see here they open up fine when it comes to browsing things like streaming which most people are probably doing when it comes to ipad it's perfect lightweight device especially the mini five year as you can see here very light and easy compact although there is a mini uh, six now that you can purchase off directly from apple the mini five still a great device in a lot of ways because it's so light and compact and you get that nice big 7.9 inch display for browsing especially and all of your popular apps as you can see we're popping it open without any sort of real issue which is a good thing because sometimes when you upgrade to major version a big thing is apps crash or break but with most apple ecosystem they're generally pretty good when it comes to being able to do much more now the one thing we don't have here right now with us is the apple pencil but we've seen that based on some uh, apple pencil again uh, works and it's compatible with the mini 5 so you, that 
you can also use that if you like so overall performance has been okay we would say there's been a little bit of, of lag here and there but that's because we just recently updated so it might take time for the ipad to really sync up and start taking advantage of uh, the ipad os 16 and really get going there now let's talk about the battery life so you know the ipad mini does have almost a little over well, 5,000 mAh battery. So this battery, if you were to think about it, lasted about seven, eight hours on a decent day, depending on, of course, your usage as well. So we just, and then as you'll notice here, as you're using the iPad itself, again, has been working for us. The battery's been like, like as you mentioned. So overall, update, decent update, and gonna have to talk about whether we think it's worth upgrading to iPad OS 16. Because it's an older model and iPad, you can still stay on iPad OS 15.7. You don't necessarily have to upgrade it. We recommend you probably stay on the that 15 version for some time before you really have to upgrade it if you don't really care about the feature. But if you're a person that wants to take advantage of all of these top features that we show and really want to update it because you necessarily don't have to, but do you want to start utilizing all of this feature, would go ahead and update it and take advantage of it but do note that because ipad 16 is on dot 16.1 it's much more stable than uh, the other or version that we've seen where it's a dot o version so there are take of the new update here we want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about the new update do you like it don't like it leave a comment in the comment section we want to hear from you guys where you at it make sure that like and subscribe button for future reviews just like this and much more for your ipad so thanks for watching guys see you guys next time